the show, this Diamonds World Tour, is is bigger. It's uh, the song selection is like mad crazy because she has so many songs so many number one hits and so many like popular songs that we couldn't fit all in one show so we tried our best to like kind of tap into each album and each record um, from you know Good Girl Gone Bad all the way to Unapologetic um, a few songs from each album just to kind of give it a good balance and she's I mean that's a good problem to have is like so many songs to choose from you know that you could at any given moment you could play whatever and the crowd is gonna scream either way like they I mean every show we've done so far they've been more than responsive to like everything we played you know like everybody's standing up nobody's ever sitting down the cameras are out and kids are playing and running around and like it's amazing Amazing experience. Like this is actually her first headlining stadium tour, so um, it's pretty exciting moment for for her and for all of us actually. So um, really looking forward to it. If you ever get to see the show, um, we'd love to hear some feedback on you know exactly what's going on and how we can um, maybe do stuff better or like take away some stuff or make it you know. But the show is big, like huge stage. We got runways, we got dancers, we got lights and pyro and all kind of. It's it's pretty dope. It's a lot. It's it's real diverse. It's a lot of music. Um, the live versions of these records, you know, somewhat kind of meshed into like, you know, our version of it. Like our music director, uh, Omar Edwards, did a great job with. Um, keeping it popular and current as if you heard it on the record but with <clears throat> with a live feel and um, with the live guitars and the live acoustic drums and and then we can break it down to the electronics because I'm you know I'm also playing electronic drums and stuff like that too along with the acoustic so I mean it's it's pretty dope how everything is kind of incorporated and meshed together and came together pretty well uh, I'm playing the Yamaha Live Custom. Uh, it's the new line of drums that um, premiered at the NAMM show this year. Um, I'm playing three different kits. So I have a Club Custom kit, uh, which is um, downstage, a 20-inch kick, um, 10, 13, 16 uh, times. I'm playing a 13 uh, Musashi snare drum. Uh, sa uh, Sabian Symbols, uh, HHX 19 Explosion, and a uh, 22-inch Artisan um, Crash Ride. That sounds crazy, crazy. With, along with the electronics, um, I'm using a Drum Cat with an Akai uh, Z8 sampler. And then on my main kit, I'm playing uh, 8, 10, 12, 16, 22-inch uh, kick, um, 14 by five and a half main snare drum, a 14 by seven uh, loud snare, um, and also a 13 inch Musashi snare. Um, I'm playing all black suede Remo heads uh, on all the toms, the snare drums, kick drums, everything. And um, Sabian cymbals all the way around, all the way around. And what about your sticks? And I'm also playing uh, Vader drum sticks. Life on tour is, is rough. You know, I have two children at home, um, five and one year old. So the time change is kind of hard to, you know, Skype, you know, back home because when I mean, it's time for them to go to bed, we're getting up or, you know, vice versa. Or like we're out or on the travel day. There's no internet, some, you know, some places. And, but you try and make the best of it. Like, you know, I like to eat. So I like to go to the best restaurants in every city and like kind of walk around. I've been uh, to most of these cities on this tour already. Uh, there's a few new ones that I haven't been to, so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that. But um, yes, yeah, mainly get up, you know, go to the gym, you know, get a good workout in and like, you know, go to try and see a little bit of the city or, you know, on the day off. 
But show day is usually, you know, hanging around the gig all day and just kind of get your mind prepared for, you know, the night.